best time is 996. Now, have you been thinking about his record? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many years do you think he has to do that? You can do it uh, this way. Thanks for having me. Uh, from, from a fan's perspective, do we kind of underestimate the, the level of training and, and how to get peak performance? It's a lot of behind the scenes work and planning that goes into it. And of course, when you see people race, you always want them to be at their best and run close to their personal records and, you know, set the track on fire. But in reality, the human body will break down and needs to go through peaks and valleys throughout the season. So you have to maintain that and be smart. and. You can't always come out guns blazing every meet you, you go to. So uh, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it, and um, that's just something that you have to prepare for when you go into a season. How, uh, how's the body feeling? How are you feeling going into this meet? I'm feeling good. You know, I've been running a lot of twos this year, uh, last year as well. So I've kind of been really confident in my 200 running, and now it's time to bring the 100 along because I want to show that I'm a dual threat. And uh, I've been doing a lot of training recently to get that 100. Um, you know, race pattern down, and I'm feeling pretty good about it, so I'm excited to run on Thursday and show what I can do. When a sprinter enters an event, you've got to have all those dynamics coming together on your favor. And you, you just have to compete often enough to get into the right condition. And you will. You'll get a two meter following in. You'll get some heat. And you'll do it. I like these positive affirmations. <laughs> Not just a, this is not the same. Eric, 